This here is a bear berry, but unfortunately, as you can see, they are not ripe. These are yellow looking, and you want them to be a bright red color. But all throughout here, this is this is all bear berry plants. This one has a little bit of red to it, but it's not quite ready. Which is kind of a shame. But hmm. Sweet! It's not sour. It doesn't have like any flavor though. And it's a little bit acrid. It's not ready. But this has a touch touch of sweetness, like a one. But no flavor. I'm gonna keep looking. And we've been finding these like leaves everywhere, but no ripe berries, but here at the top of a fell. <laughs> I think they're getting enough sunlight up here where they're able to ripen all the way. When they ripen, they actually fall off the plant. So when you pick them off the ground, they're like fully red all over. So I'm not sure if that's always the case. You might be able to pick them, but this one looks like super ready. So I'm gonna give this a try. I'd say it's got like a three out of 10 on a sweetness. It's like maybe a four. It's like a little bit less than an apple. They don't have a whole lot of flavor. Um, they're very herbal, like a little bit grassy too, and a little woody. Definitely tastes like something that you forage. I'm taking care not to bite the seeds because I think those are bitter. But I'll show you one. They um, look like a little, I don't know, like a pepper seed or a tomato seed. I'm gonna bite into them and see. A little more bitter when you bite into the seeds. So bear berries are right here. Bill berries are right here. <laughs> a little bit further down. Crow berries are right here. Also fruiting. <laughs> this is not a bad little spot. They're all like living in harmony next to each other. So you could probably just like rake through this whole thing with like a little berry rake and get three different types of berries at least. I'm back in New York City, everybody, and what I have here are some more bear berries. These ones were kindly sent to me by Raymond. So, Raymond, thank you. Thank you for sending me these. Now, uh, although I've tried this already when I was in Finland, I wanted to try these for, uh, again, for two reasons. Number one, these ones are super duper ripe. So the ones I had before, I wasn't sure if they were fully ripe or not. Uh, these ones definitely are. They're very, very red looking. They look 100% uh, ready to go. And also, I wanted to try using them in something. So uh, first, let me just try it on its own. Tastes much better. Not great though. Yeah, so inside it's um, it's white, very powdery. It reminds me a little bit of taking a little spoon of sugar in my mouth, but maybe a little bit more like sand than sugar. It tastes kind of like um, like a sweet mealy apple. I don't think normally people eat this just like on its own. I think bears do, and that's why it's called bear berries, because bears like these things. Which is funny to me to imagine like a gigantic bear eating these teeny tiny little berries. It's kind of cute. Okay, so what I'm going to try now is something that Raymond suggested to me, which is to take some of these, put them into a glass, like so, add milk. He suggested specifically whole milk, so I will try that, and, oh, <laughs> I should have crushed them first. <laughs> I drain them, I'm going to crush them with the back of a spoon. <sighs> there goes my spoon, and there goes a big mess. I'll be back. I'm gonna use the pestle from my mortar and pestle. I didn't want to because I didn't want to have to clean this thing, but it does work a lot better. <laughs> I'm half expecting this to catch fire. 
but let's give it a shot. Okay. We got my bear milk and it's um slightly pink. You can see a slight pinkish hue to that. Slightly berry-ish, but very, very mild. I think what I'm going to do is muddle up more of these. Wish me luck. Okay, so I took just like a couple tablespoons of that milk and crushed the rest of the berries in it. So now it's much more concentrated. Let's try it now. Hmm. The bitterness that I'm getting, the astringency, the herbal taste is, uh, is still there, but far more reduced when the milk mill mellows it down. It reminds me of Applejack cereal. It tastes like that apple-ish flavor that Apple Jacks has. So that certain compound is, is in there. And the fact that there's milk in it makes me think cereal even more. But on top of that, there's also a touch of um, like a cherry-ish kind of flavor and maybe a little bit of like a rose petal kind of flavor. It's actually really good, but it's very subtle. That berry on its own is, um, is fine, but it's problematic. It's a little bit too gritty. It's not very big. There's seeds you gotta dodge. There's, it's kind of complicated to eat it just straight on its own. But when you muddle it in milk like that, it does bring out like this nice taste. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty interesting to try that. It's uh, If you do happen to come across these, I would recommend doing what I just did. So uh, thanks Raymond for sending me these and thanks for that suggestion. I have more though. Only recently did I even figure out what a bear berry was, and now here I am talking about so many different ways to prepare bear berries. Here's another way. This is dried bear berries, which is commonly used, I believe, in Mexico, because all of the websites that I saw selling this were based in Mexico, or at least a lot of them were. Uh, this is just the berries that have been dried out. And what this is supposed to be good for is uh, medicinal stuff. People like it for your kidneys and urinary tract infections. And uh, it's supposed to help with bedwetting too. You give it to your kids to keep them from bedwetting. I don't know if any of that is true. However, that is why this thing is available. So uh, I am going to try it as a tea, which is another way of doing it. So we got some boiling water here. We got one teaspoon of these. You put that in there and let it boil for five minutes. The water is very clear looking. It doesn't look like it really infused. I just took a spoon of it. It has a slight herbal taste to it, but it mostly just tastes like water. I think the problem is that you should probably crush them. And those things when they're dry, they're very hard, but now that they've been cooked for a bit, now they're soft. So I'm going to crush them with this spoon carefully and then uh, let it cook a little bit longer. Oh yeah, that's got some color to it. Nice murky brown color. Oh, I wasn't expecting this to taste very good because it is used as a medicine, but um, that's all right. It tastes um, kind of tart, like lemony kind of tart but uh, not as high as a lemon, more like like a six out of 10, a little bit more than an orange, but less than a lemon. It's a little bit sweet, but not very sweet. I'd say it's like a three out of 10 on sweetness. It's like if you took some lemonade and some apple juice and you mixed them together and then diluted it heavily and threw some like bay leaves in there or something to add some herbal taste to it. It reminds me of drinking like a like a Theraflu or something. It's not that bad. If you are into this whole medicinal thing and you want to try this for that reason, uh, it's not totally an objectionable thing to, to drink. People usually don't use the berries for medicine though, they use the leaves. And a lot of the websites actually selling the fruit give like the whole instructions and they're like, yeah, put the leaves in a cup of hot water. And it's like, 
you're not selling leaves, dude. You're selling those little fruits. So uh, I think there is probably some misinformation on uh, the use of the fruit, but people do use it. So originally I didn't know anything about the bear berry, and here we are. I have had it so many different ways now, and I think I've said all I would like to say. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, it's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.